copper sulfides describe a family of chemical compounds and minerals with the formula Cumi. Both minerals and synthetic materials comprise these compounds. Some copper sulfides are economically important ores. Prominent copper sulfide minerals include Q2S and QS. In the mining industry, the minerals bornite or chalcopyrite, which consist of mixed copper iron sulfides, are often referred to as copper sulfides. In chemistry, a binary copper sulfide is any binary chemical compound of the elements copper and sulfur. Whatever their source, copper sulfides vary widely in composition with 0.5 a per mil currency per second a per mil two currency, including numerous non-stoichiometric compounds. Known copper sulfides, the naturally occurring mineral binary compounds of copper and sulfur are listed below. Investigations of Blobli-Bender coverlite formed by natural leaching of coverlite indicate that there are other metastable QS phases still to be fully characterized. QS2, filamininite or S2, QS, coverlite, copper monosulfide, Q9S8, yarrowite, Q39S28 syncopite, Q8S5, jeerite, Q7S4, analyte, Q9S5, digenite. Q31S16, gerlite, Q2S, calcosite. Classes of copper sulfides Copper sulfides can be classified into three groups monosulfides, 1.6 a per mil currency per second a per mil two currency. Their crystal structures consist of isolated sulfide anions that are closely related to either HCP or FCC lattices, without any direct SS bonds. The copper ions are distributed in a complicated manner over interstitial sites with both trigonal as well as distorted tetrahedral coordination and are rather mobile. Therefore, this group of copper sulfides shows ionic conductivity at slightly elevated temperatures. In addition, the majority of its members are semiconductors. Mixed monosulfide and disulfide compounds of copper contain both monosulfide as well as disulfidena anions. Their crystal structures usually consist of alternating hexagonal layers of monosulfide and disulfide anions with Qs cations in trigonal and tetrahedral interstices. Qs, for example, can be written as Q3, S2, S. Several non-stoichiometric compounds with Q, S ratios between 1.0 and 1.4 also contain both monosulfide as well as disulfide ions. Depending on their composition, these copper sulfides are either semiconductors or metallic conductors. At very high pressures, a copper disulfide, QS2, can be synthesized. Its crystal structure is analogous to that of pyrite, with all sulfur atoms occurring as SS units. Copper disulfide is a metallic conductor due to the incomplete occupancy of the sulfur P band. Different stoichiometric composition can be obtained by changing the redox atmosphere of the synthetic environment. 6. Oxidation states of copper and sulfur The bonding in copper sulfides cannot be correctly described in terms of a simple oxidation state formalism because the QS bonds are somewhat covalent rather than ionic in character, and have a high degree of delocalization resulting in complicated electronic band structures. Although many textbooks give the mixed valence formula 2, Q2 plus, S2A, S2, 2A for QS, X-ray photoelectron spectroscopic data give strong evidence that, in terms of the simple oxidation state formalism, all the known copper sulfides should be considered as purely monovalent copper compounds, and more appropriate formulae would be 3, S2A, S2, A for QS, and, S2, A for QS2, respectively. Further evidence that the assignment of the so-called valence hull should be to the S2 units in these two formulae is the length of the SS bonds, which are significantly shorter in QS and QS2 than in the classical disulfide Fe2 plus, S2, 2A. This bond length difference has been ascribed to the higher bond order ina compared to 2A due to electrons being removed from a euro antibonding orbital. NMA studies on QS show that there are two distinct species of copper atom, one with a more metallic nature than the other and this apparent discrepancy with the X-ray photoelectron spectrum data simply highlights the problem that NMA has in assigning oxidation states in a mixed valence compound. The issue of the valence of copper in sulfides continues to be revisited in the literature. 
A good example is a 2009 study of the ternary compound CuCO2S4 that was undertaken primarily to establish unequivocally the oxidation state of the cubic inch the mineral, and concluded that the experimental and simulated cubic liter 2, 3 absorption spectra established an unequivocal oxidation state of Cu I in the corolite bulk. See also, copper, I, sulfide, copper, 2, sulfide. References JCW FOMA holes in the valence band of copper chalcogenides thesis 1981 Groningen State University. External links, copper sulfides mineral information and data.